In this video, I'm gonna show you guys how to create a coloring book interior using only free software. Now, if you haven't been here before, my name is Rory and I run this channel called Mr. Rosa. And as always, can I ask you guys to hit that like and subscribe button? It would be greatly appreciated. Doesn't take you half a second to do. So I've already made a video on how you can create a coloring book interior, but in that video, I used the software called Adobe Illustrator. Then after I made that video, I thought to myself, well, for some people, Adobe Illustrator may be difficult to get hold of, can be quite expensive, and yeah, they wanna create it using a free software. So then after that, I created these interiors using the free software Canva, and that's what we're gonna be using in today's video. Now Canva may not be the best one out there as a free software to create this, but I want to keep that sort of similarity to my other videos. And even though it may be a bit diff more difficult to find the images to use on Canva, it is still very possible as I will show you today in this video. Now, like I've always said, activity books, puzzle books are very, very popular, but coloring books in particular are definitely the most popular at the moment. And even though they may have the highest amount of results, they're the easiest to niche down on as you can create coloring books on literally anything. Like it could be any animal, it could be a cat, it could be dog, it could be trains, it could be tractors, it can be literally anything. So even though they would come up with high results when you just search up coloring books in general, you will easily be able to niche down to get many, many sales. So as I will show on Amazon now, they have a very, very high BSR at the moment. So there is a good opportunity there to earn good money. Now let's jump into the computer and let's have a look at some of these books. So one thing that I learned from my other videos, I actually got commented it. If you, where it says here all, if you just click on that drop down and go down to books, you'll get a better range of keywords to use and you'll get a better popularity for the number of books and better search in general. So now that we've clicked on books, let's just search up coloring books. And as you can see, the first one, it has a BSR of 691. So obviously that's gonna sell very well. The second one, a BSR of 51. Now, just to give you an idea of how much something would be making from a BSR of 51, click calculate. 14,191 sales per month. So you can times that by 1.5 to get the average amount of how much you'll be earning per month. But yeah, there you have it. That's a ridiculous, ridiculous amount for one book. So yeah, and we can just keep scrolling and scrolling. Actually, let's just have a look at this one that had a BSR of 51. Let's just have a look at what was inside. So, very, very simple, very, very simple text, uh, just with a bunch of fun vectors on the outside, microphone, broccoli, mountains, dragon, tent, and yeah, nothing too special, but nothing too simple, because I did show in my other colouring book tutorial, I had a lot of like negative space on the outside, which can get quite boring, but I guess you could draw around the outside but with these it shows you the exact bits that you want to be coloured and all sorts of stuff like that. So yeah, very very simple but very very good stuff. And then let's just have a look at another sort of thing to get a good idea. So we have an adult colouring book here and that's an animal adult colouring book and we can have a look inside of that to get a sort of idea of what kind of thing we need to be creating. And yeah, this is a more detailed drawing bit more different stuff and yeah you can add your all, all sorts of different styles and different cool things to your coloring book give it its own identity and make people want to buy it basically so yeah like i said we can easily niche down on this niche by typing in literally if we typed in animal coloring books at the beginning it takes that eighty thousand down to sixty thousand. that's still a lot we can niche down even more than that Dog colouring book, 40,000, still not as low as I want. Let's just go something completely out of nowhere. Let's just go, uh, what should we go with? Tractor colouring book, 1,000 results. If we have the BSR for them, still 53,000. So I'll just show you that 53,000 is still a lot by going to the BSR calculator. So 53,066, click calculate. 87 sales per month. 
that is still a really good amount of money and we can keep scrolling and scrolling. Look at this one, trucks, planes and cars colouring book, 1,118 in books. So if we type that in, 1,118, 2,031 sales per month on a book about tractors, colouring in tractors. So yeah, like I said, a very, very popular niche. And even if you're going to niche down, you're still going to get a high amount of popularity. This has 716 reviews. So yeah, I really recommend you get into colouring books. So the website I'm going to be using to get my images and so forth is Vecteasy. Now I've talked about it a lot in my other videos. It's very, very good, very good for getting vectors. And when you're downloading a vector, a vector normally comes in a .eps file, which is the one you would use in Adobe Illustrator. Now the one we're going to need for Canva is just a normal JPEG or PNG file. Some of the images on vectors you may find when you download it you don't get this JPEG or PNG file, but that's fine, it just takes more research. And you don't have to use Vecteasy, there is even one such as Pixabay out there, or I think there's one called Splash, which is just a free PNG uh, website. And yeah, there's many, many out there. I'm sure if you did your research, you'd be able to find a lot of good ones. So yeah, let's just get straight to it and go into Vecteasy and find our images to use for today. So to start off with, we're going to start off by getting our background. Now we want something like a, just a simple pattern, which you can clearly see to colour in with whatever they want. So you don't want it too boring, but you don't want it too hard to colour in. So we're just going to start off with a black and white pattern. Now the reason we're going black and white is like I said with Canva, it's not the best one to use to create these interiors, but with Canva you can't adjust the lines and change the colours very much because it's just a normal JPEG or PNG file you're attaching. With other softwares you can adapt the .eps file and all sorts of stuff like that to allow you to change the colours and yeah. So like I said, I'll leave some in the description below, some better ones you can use to adjust all sorts of .eps files and stuff like that. But let's just get on with using Canva. Now just keep scrolling and scrolling until you find one you like. I'm looking for something just very, very simple. And something like this. This is the perfect thing that I want. So all you've got to do, click free download and click the free license because Obviously I'm not pay paying for the pro license. Now once you have that downloaded, it should go to your downloads folder. Then we're gonna head into Canva. Now already I have the dimensions put in, but when you're creating an interior, I usually go for six by nine, because that's the normal one I use, and it's very good for getting a better amount of profit for me. So once you put in six by nine inches, remember inches, Sometimes you can get mixed up with pixels and centimetres, but always remember it's inches. Then just click Create Design. Now that you've done that, go to Downloads folder, open the zip file, and then open that up and drag the .jpeg file rather than the .eps file. So just drag that in, and then once you have it in, I'm going to rotate it because, as you can see, it will look slightly better and just drag it out to the corners until you have it, something that you like. So actually I'm very happy with this. I'm just gonna enlarge it a bit so it goes right out. And I'm really, really happy with this. Then we've got to find an animal to put on top. So I'm gonna go black and white animal. And then you're just gonna to have to keep scrolling and scrolling until you find something you like. And actually that turtle really caught my eye at the beginning. Go back into your Canva design, go on your downloads folder, Click the zip file, open the folder up, and then just drag in the JPEG file once again. Now, as you can see, we have this sort of mark in the bottom left corner, and we're just gonna want to crop that out. So I'm just gonna click the crop button and just crop it down. I'm just gonna crop it down from the edges above here as well, just to make it look cleaner and nicer. Now, like I said, Canva isn't the best one to do this because unfortunately we can't crop round like the turtle and stuff so we're gonna have to keep this sort of white box around it 
Now we can crop it down even more just to make it perfect. Just crop around the edges a bit, just so it all sorts of adds up. And yeah, that looks better for me. So I'm just gonna enlarge that so it goes like right to the edge. And then yeah, I would be happy with uploading something like that because even though you've got all that white around it, it sort of adds a sort of unique style to it. And you can just follow the same process with using lots of different animals. It looks like I've cropped out a bit of the, I think it's water there. So I'm just gonna bring the crop thing down a tiny bit. And you can adjust this however you like to whatever suits the kind of style you're going for. So yeah, I hope you found that video useful. And remember, click in the description below to get a better software. I'll also leave Canva and Vecteasy there for you, but I will leave a better one for you guys to use, which will allow you to edit .eps files, much like Adobe Illustrator, but just a free version, really. And anyway, if you did enjoy, remember once again to hit that like and subscribe button, going for that goal of 1,000 subscribers still. And if you haven't checked out any of my other KDP videos, Remember to go check those out and gain some more tips on how to improve your KDP business. So make sure you go and check those out. And I will also leave my Gumroad store in the description below as I've left some line interiors and comic book interiors for you guys to go and download to use for yourself on the Amazon website. So once again, I hope you enjoyed and well, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.